I first came to this city in 1961, the year Barack Obama was born. I was one of the 13 original Freedom Riders. We were on a bus ride from Washington to New Orleans, trying to test a recent Supreme Court ruling that banned racial discrimination on buses crossing state line. We tested the waiting room, restroom facility, but here in Charlotte, North Carolina, a young African American tried to get a shoe shine at the Greyhound bus station. He was arrested and taken to jail. On that same day, we traveled to Rock Hill, South Carolina, about 25 miles from here. When my seatmate Albert Bigelow and I tried to enter a white waiting room, we were met by an angry mob that beat us and left us lying in a pool of blood. Some police officers came up and asked us whether we wanted to press charges. We said no. We come in peace, love, and nonviolence. We said our struggle was not against individuals, but against unjust laws and customs. Our goal was the true freedom for every American. Since then, America has made a lot of progress. We are a different society than we were in 1961. And in 2008, we showed the world the true promise of America when we elected President Barack Obama. A few years ago, a man from Rock Hill, inspired by President Obama's election, decided to come forward. He came to my office in Washington and said, I am one of the people who beat you. I want to apologize. Will you forgive me? I said, I accept your apology. He started crying. He gave me a hug. I hugged him back, and we both started crying. This man and I don't want to go back. We don't want to go back. in that ballot. Today, it is unbelievable that there are Republican officials are trying to stop some people from voting. They are changing, they are changing the rules, cutting polling hours and imposing a requirement intended to suppress the vote. The Republican leader in the Pennsylvania House even bragged that his state's new voter ID law is going to allow Governor Romney to win the state. That's not right, that's not fair, and that is not just. And similar efforts have been made in Texas, 
Texas, Ohio, Florida, Wisconsin, Arizona, Georgia, and South Carolina. I've seen this before. I lived this before. Too many people struggled, suffered, and died to make it possible for every American to exercise their right to vote.